Section 1. Introduction to Marie Kondo's Method In a world where material possessions often consume our lives, one woman's simple yet revolutionary approach to tidying up has captured the hearts and minds of millions. Marie Kondo, the renowned Japanese organizing consultant, has sparked a global phenomenon with her unique philosophy on decluttering and organizing. Her method, known as the KonMari method, encourages individuals to keep only the items that spark joy and let go of the rest. Within this method lies a powerful strategy. Declutter a little a day. Decluttering is more than just tidying up physical spaces. It's a transformative journey that goes deep into our emotions, memories, and attachments. It requires confronting the clutter that has accumulated in our lives and making intentional choices about what truly matters to us. Marie Kondo's Declutter a Little a Day strategy invites us to embark on this journey at a manageable pace, taking small but significant steps toward a clutter-free life. The Declutter a Little a Day strategy encourages individuals to break down the overwhelming task of decluttering into smaller, more manageable chunks. By dedicating a little time each day, we can gradually and consistently work through our belongings, allowing us to tackle clutter without feeling overwhelmed. This strategy not only helps us maintain momentum, but also ensures that our emotional well-being remains intact throughout the process. Section 2. The Challenge, Nostalgia, and Attachment As we embark on the journey of decluttering, we are confronted with the powerful grip of nostalgia. Our possessions hold within them a treasure trove of memories, each item a vessel for a story waiting to be remembered. Whether it's a faded photograph, a childhood toy, or a handwritten note, these objects have the ability to transport us back in time, invoking a whirlwind of emotions. Unearthing forgotten treasures. The process of decluttering unveils forgotten treasures that have been buried beneath layers of clutter. Opening that long-forgotten box tucked away in the attic can be akin to opening a time capsule, revealing a piece of our personal history. Within its contents, we may find remnants of a cherished hobby, souvenirs from travels, or mementos from significant life events. As we hold these items in our hands, we are transported back to the moments they represent, rekindling the joy and significance they once held. Revisiting Past Experiences Objects have the remarkable power to serve as triggers for memories, acting as portals that transport us to different times in our lives. A piece of jewelry can evoke the tenderness of a loving relationship. A faded ticket stub can resurrect the excitement of an unforgettable concert, and an old journal can unveil the innermost thoughts and dreams of our younger selves. The act of decluttering requires us to confront the emotions tied to these objects as we carefully decide whether to keep them as cherished reminders or let them go to create space for new experiences. Our attachment to possessions often goes beyond sentimental value. It can become deeply rooted in our identities, fears, and aspirations. Letting go of our belongings can feel like parting ways with a piece of ourselves, creating an emotional tug of war between holding on to the past and embracing a more liberated future. Sentimental value and identity. Possessions play a significant role in shaping our identities, acting as extensions of ourselves and reflecting our values, interests, and accomplishments. They become markers of our personal history, symbolizing who we are and what we hold dear. Letting go of these possessions may feel like relinquishing a part of our identity, challenging us to redefine ourselves beyond our material possessions. Fear and uncertainty. The fear of letting go often stems from uncertainty about the future. Possessions can provide a sense of security, offering a familiar anchor in a world of constant change. We may hold on to items out of fear of regret or a belief that they may be useful someday. However, this fear can keep us trapped in cluttered spaces and hinder our ability to fully embrace new opportunities and experiences. Overcoming attachment requires us to confront these fears head-on, trusting in our ability to adapt and find happiness beyond our material possessions. As we delve into the realm of decluttering, we must navigate the emotional complexities of nostalgia and attachment. Acknowledging the power that our possessions hold over us is the first step towards liberation. In the next section, we will explore how Marie Kondo's Declutter a Little a Day strategy can help us overcome these challenges, leading us towards a path of relief and a renewed sense of clarity. Section 3. The Liberation. The Magic of the Declutter a Little a Day Strategy. Decluttering can often feel overwhelming, especially when faced with years worth of accumulated possessions. However, the Declutter a Little a Day Strategy offers a powerful antidote to this overwhelm. By breaking down the process into small, manageable steps, we can make progress without feeling daunted by the enormity of the task. Embracing Progress Over Perfection. 
The beauty of the Declutter a Little a Day strategy lies in its emphasis on progress rather than perfection. Each day we commit to dedicating a small amount of time to decluttering, focusing on one specific area or category. By shifting our mindset to appreciate the incremental steps we take, we begin to see the impact unfold over time. Small victories accumulate into a significant transformation, creating a sense of accomplishment and motivation to continue. Celebrating achievements along the way. As we embark on our decluttering journey, it's essential to acknowledge and celebrate our achievements. Whether it's clearing out a closet, organizing a drawer, or donating a bag of unused items, every step forward is worth celebrating. By recognizing and rewarding our progress, we reinforce positive habits and cultivate a sense of pride in our ability to create change. Decluttering our physical spaces goes beyond simply creating a tidy environment. It has a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being, allowing us to experience newfound clarity and freedom, enhanced productivity and focus. As we declutter, we create space for what truly matters, eliminating distractions and mental clutter. A clutter-free environment fosters a sense of calm and promotes focus, enabling us to be more productive and efficient in our daily lives. With less time spent searching for misplaced items or dealing with excess clutter, we can direct our energy towards our goals, passions, and relationships. Improved emotional well-being. Our external environment has a direct influence on our internal state. Living in a cluttered space can contribute to feelings of stress, anxiety, and even depression. However, by decluttering, we invite a sense of peace and harmony into our lives. Letting go of unnecessary possessions can be liberating, freeing us from the weight of material attachments and creating space for positive energy to flow. A decluttered space becomes a sanctuary, allowing us to recharge, relax, and nurture our well-being. Section 4. The Journey. Navigating the Roller Coaster of Emotions. The process of decluttering is not merely a physical task, but an emotional journey. Along the way, we may experience a range of emotions, from doubt and hesitation to determination and empowerment. Understanding and embracing these emotions is essential to navigate the roller coaster ride of decluttering. The initial hesitation. As we confront the clutter in our lives, it's natural to feel hesitant and uncertain. We may question our ability to let go, fear making the wrong choices, or worry about potential regrets. This hesitation often stems from our attachment to the past and the fear of the unknown. Recognizing these feelings and acknowledging that they are part of the process allows us to move forward with greater resilience. Finding the motivation to begin. Overcoming the initial hesitation requires finding the motivation to take that first step. It could be the desire for a more organized space, the longing for simplicity, or the vision of a life unburdened by clutter. Connecting with our personal motivations and visualizing the benefits of decluttering can ignite the determination needed to embark on the journey. Decluttering is not a sterile, emotionless task. It is a deeply personal experience that can elicit a wide range of emotions. As we sort through our belongings, we may find ourselves shedding tears, bursting into laughter, or experiencing a profound sense of release. Emotional Baggage Unpacked Possessions often carry emotional baggage, representing past traumas, relationships, or experiences. Letting go of these objects can feel like letting go of a part of ourselves. As we confront these emotions, it is essential to give ourselves permission to grieve, reflect, and heal. The act of decluttering becomes a cathartic process of releasing emotional weight, making space for growth and renewal. The healing power of letting go. Letting go is a powerful act of self-care and self-discovery. Each item we release carries with it a lesson, a memory, or a reminder of who we once were. By letting go, we create room for personal transformation, allowing ourselves to evolve and embrace new possibilities. The process of decluttering becomes a journey of self-reflection, resilience, and ultimately, healing. Embracing the declutter a little a day strategy takes us on a transformative path towards liberation. As we break free from the overwhelming clutter, we discover a newfound sense of productivity, focus, and emotional well-being. In the next sections, we will delve into the ultimate relief that decluttering brings and explore the practicalities of sustaining a decluttered lifestyle. Section 5. The Ultimate Relief – Embracing a Life of Simplicity Decluttering is not just about removing physical possessions, it is a gateway to embracing a simpler, more intentional way of living. By letting go of excess and focusing on what truly matters, we open ourselves up to a life of purpose and fulfillment. The freedom of a clutter-free environment. A clutter-free environment provides a sense of freedom and space to breathe. 
When our physical surroundings are organized and simplified, we experience a mental and emotional release. The absence of clutter allows us to focus on the present moment, promoting mindfulness and reducing stress. We no longer feel weighed down by the burden of excess possessions, but rather feel lighter and more in control of our lives. Shifting focus to what truly matters. Decluttering redirects our attention to the things that hold genuine value in our lives. As we let go of possessions that no longer serve us, we gain clarity on our priorities, passions, and relationships. We can devote more time and energy to activities and experiences that bring us joy, nurturing our personal growth, and enriching our connections with others. Embracing a life of simplicity means aligning our external environment with our internal values and aspirations. Once we have decluttered and experienced the relief of a simplified life, it is important to establish habits and systems that help us maintain a clutter-free environment in the long run. Implementing habits to avoid accumulation. The key to sustaining a decluttered lifestyle lies in being mindful of the things we bring into our lives. By adopting mindful consumption habits, we can prevent clutter from reaccumulating. Before acquiring new items, we can ask ourselves whether they truly align with our values and serve a purpose. This intentional approach to acquiring possessions helps us avoid impulsive purchases and the subsequent clutter they may bring. The joy of maintaining order. Keeping our spaces organized and clutter-free can be an ongoing source of joy and satisfaction. Regularly tidying up, finding homes for our belongings, and maintaining order becomes a ritual of self-care. By cultivating a mindset of continuous improvement, we create an environment that supports our well-being and fosters a sense of calm and harmony. Section 6. The Transformational Power of Decluttering Decluttering goes beyond organizing our physical spaces. It is a transformative journey that touches every aspect of our lives. By adopting Marie Kondo's Declutter a Little a Day strategy, we can navigate the challenges of nostalgia and attachment, gradually liberating ourselves from the weight of unnecessary possessions. Marie Kondo's approach to decluttering offers a unique and effective method for simplifying our lives. By breaking down the process into manageable steps, we can overcome overwhelm, celebrate progress, and experience the profound impact of a clutter-free environment on our emotional well-being. Decluttering is a journey that allows us to find liberation from the physical and emotional clutter that weighs us down. By relieving attachments to possessions, we create space for growth, clarity, and self-discovery. Embracing a simplified life allows us to reconnect with our true selves, focus on what truly matters, and experience the ultimate relief that comes from living with intention. As you embark on your decluttering journey, remember that it is not just about tidying up your physical spaces, but about cultivating a sense of joy, purpose, and harmony in your life. Let go, embrace the lightness of being, and create a sanctuary of simplicity where you can thrive.